Hey guys, welcome back. So do you know what I like more than a haul? A haul update. I think a haul update is even more exciting and more interesting and helpful to watch than just here's what I bought. And so today we're going to talk about some things I had bought. It's been a while. I've been using these things and I'm going to give you my thoughts on whether or not you would want to buy them. You should buy them. Maybe you should steer clear. I'm going to link the original haul video below just for fun and giggles. Go on over and watch it and see what I bought. Um, and then I do have an entire playlist of haul updates, which I will also link below if you're curious about a bunch of products. The things I don't have, I will insert pictures of things I've used up, specifically these first two things. The Pureology Clean Volume Shampoo and then Corresponding Conditioner. I really liked those. So I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. And so if I do too heavy of a shampoo or conditioner, it really weighs my hair down and I can't get it to curl. I can't get volume in it or anything. And it just kind of coats my hair. Um, those two were really lovely. Um, I also have really hard water. So that makes for your hair to get ruined real fast. But the Pureology Clean was really lovely it was really nice I felt that it got my hair clean without stripping it it didn't weigh it down it was really lovely I don't like the price point of those because I want to say they were they were kind of spendy for shampoo and conditioner so I would repurchase them but I don't like how much they cost and I have a couple things in that haul I had included I believe this was last a year ago I think this was last June um, that I bought for my husband the Biore charcoal pore strips I can tell you he loves those He's got several boxes. Um, <laughs> it'll randomly come out with a Biore pore strip on his nose. And it's just kind of, it's, it's cute. It's cute. But no, he does really like those. Um, and then I had bought him a face cleanser, which <laughs> it's still sitting in the shower. I said, honey, do you use that? Yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> like, well, if you, if you use it every day, you might see some results. Because it's supposed to help with keeping your, you know, it's to wash your face, uh, but it's got the charcoal in it, so it's supposed to help with the blackhead situation and just getting dirt and grime off your face, but he likes to just use water to wash his face, so there's that story. Next, we have some lashes. These are the Ardell Studio Effects Wispies. I'm actually wearing these, but these are, a, I think these are the third or fourth pair I've bought since last year because, here, come close here, um, these are wearable. I can wear these all day. They're lightweight. I think they're very pretty. I think they're very bridal-esque. Like, they add volume and length without being like, whoa, she's wearing false lashes. They're not huge. They're not obvious. They look very good with my eye shape, which I have deep set eyes, and they're kind of close together. Um, and so when you look at me from the side, let's see, from the side here, um, my eyes are very far back in my head, so a lot of lashes will hit right here. These don't even do that. They're just... I, I highly recommend these ones. And the other pair I bought, I wore these in my summer peach tutorial. So if you want to see these on my eyes, uh, that will be in a card and link below. But these are the Faux Mink by Ardell, number 810. These are so lightweight. These look very pretty and natural on the eyes. In fact, my friend had complimented me and she's like, are you wearing lashes? And I'm like, yes, I am. She's like, they're so natural looking. I'm like, yes, they're the, the faux mink ones, which I think were kind of new last year. I think new for Ardell anyway. Am I in focus? Please. Okay, I hope that wasn't out of focus for too long. Um, I think these were kind of new last year. But you know other brands do the faux mink thing and they're very expensive. But I thought, why not try these? The band on these is very lightweight. And I thought they were very lovely, very easy to wear. Next, I have a lip liner, which I really like the shade of this. The Charlotte Tilbury um, Lip Cheats Reshape and Resize Lip Liner. These are named appropriately because the formula is so creamy that you really can cheat and resize, reshape your lips. Now, I don't need to do that because I don't, I've tried that a few times and I just don't like how it looks on me. I think it looks really crazy. Um, I think it, maybe it's because I'm just used to my own lips and so when I try to like create a larger version, it just looks strange. But for those of you who would like to do that, you could definitely do that with this formula because it just uh, glides. So this is the shade Iconic Nude. It's a really nice nude shade. Just, you know, kind of neutral, not too dark. Oh, that was like a cool little line that I just made there. Um, <laughs> that would make a cool tattoo. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I digress. Um, anyways, it's just a very nice neutral, not too peach, not too brown of a nude liner. 
and it pairs well with this color. This is very Victoria. If you, uh, by Charlotte Tilbury. Pretty rose gold packaging. If you like those deeper nudes, not super deep though, more of like a brownie nude with a hint of pink, this is really pretty. This is a very sexy, sexy lip nude color. It's not concealer nude, it's not too light. I, if I wear a nude that's too light, I just don't look right. It just doesn't look right. I mean, I look my best in color, some sort of color, but this nude is a really complimentary nude because it doesn't, like, white you out and make you look ghostly. The Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick Formula is also really neat. I don't know if you noticed, uh, but the bullet shape is a little different. It's like a square. Uh, this next thing that I bought is a summer must-have for me. Um, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It's waterproof. So if you need something to not only hold your brows, maybe you have hairs that like to blow in the wind. I guess if you had hairs that were blowing the wind, maybe you should trim them first. But if you don't want to do that, you can lock them in place with this because this really adheres nicely to the brows. And it also is waterproof. So if you need your brows while you're swimming or out in the rain or whatever, um, this is really good stuff. Next, we have a few things on here that I have used up. The Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I really like that. That mascara has a rubber wand and it really pulls the lashes up and out. It holds the curl. It didn't flake on me. Uh, I would repurchase that mascara. That's like in my top mascaras. I, like uh, The five mascaras that are coming to my mind that I really like that I have repurchased, that one would make the cut. It, it just gives really nice length and separation. The NYX Matte Liquid Liner. For the price, it is great. Now for the beginner, I would never recommend that because the brush on it is not a felt tip, so it's very flimsy. You need to have some sort of control. If you screw up, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not a beginner, but I am not like a pro when it comes to liner, especially liquid liner. But it's like $5. It did dry really nice and matte, but the one thing that holds me back from repurchasing it is the fact that it's a brush tip. And that can be very troublesome to work with, even for someone who's done, I mean, I don't know how many times I've lined my eyes, but you know what I mean? It's just, I'd rather buy something else that has a little bit more sturdiness to it because I can be a little shaky sometimes. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I fell out of love with that. And I think it's because, well, I'm not getting younger, but like it just is so heavy and it's very thick and it just deposits a lot of product. There's a lot of potential for crepiness, creasing. Um, when you smile like this and you get all these lines because your concealer it's just too thick. It just wasn't a good look for me. I think if you have younger skin with no fine lines and wrinkles, of course you're going to love it. Or if you get Botox and this area is all smooth, you're going to love it because it's full coverage. I just, if you don't get Botox or and you have fine lines and wrinkles, I think you're going to hate it. I just, I really do. Or if you have dry under eyes, I think you're going to hate it. Uh, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm and the Pharmacy Melt Away Balm. I have done an entire video on my cleansing balms that I have a review on them. I will link that video below and it will give you the specifics on both of these. Um, but the short story is that I do like the Clinique one. It's very simple. Not a lot of bells and whistles here. It's a little thicker than this one. This one really melts into the skin. This one melts into the skin, but this one really does. It's more emollient. Uh, this doesn't have any fragrance or anything in it. Just very simple. Gets the job done. Um, and it's cheaper than the pharmacy. I like the pharmacy one better because it's even more emollient. I feel like my skin gets even cleaner. I can feel a little residual product on my face after washing with this because it's waxier. This really just literally melts into the skin and gets every speck of makeup off your face. Smells lovely. It's just... It's a little bit more um, appealing to me when I use it because it smells good and it just kind of really gets things done. So I would recommend this one over this one, but this one's good. I'm not saying this one's bad at all because it does get the job done, but I just like this one a little more. That is it for today's update. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love to do haul updates because I think it's just so much more beneficial and you learn so much more about things than just showing you, hey, I bought this. That's fun. It's fun to see what people buy, right? Um, but it's even better to see like what they thought about it because <laughs> that's the true telltale about the product. So thank you guys for watching today's video and we will chat very soon.